All right, so now that you have your X on your paper, you're gonna grab your protractor. If you have a protractor that has a hole in the middle, you are gonna line up that hole in the middle of your X, making sure that zero and 180 are on the line, making sure 90 is on the line. So zero, 90, 180. If you're using a smaller version, <clears throat> you're going to put it flush on the line so that the line is perpendicular with the bottom. Oh, I'm sorry, not perpendicular. Um, flush with the bottom. And then 90, once again, is right on that the cross of the X. So <clears throat> at this point, I'm gonna mark every 30 degrees. After you get good at this project, you can change your degrees and do all kinds of different cool things, but for right now, we're gonna use 30. <clears throat> now I'm gonna flip over my X. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Lining everything up. 90 is on my line, I have zero there. So now I mark 30, 60, 90 has already been marked for us, 120, and 150. Okay, now I'm going to make my circle as big as I can. Um, the size of your circle doesn't really matter, but if you make it too small, your lines will be too convoluted at the end of your project. So now we have a nice circle in the middle of our X and we have all our degrees. <clears throat> now I want my degrees to extend to the outside of my circle. So I'm gonna take my flat edge, I'm gonna make sure that it's crossed in the middle that's crossed in the middle, I'm good. I'm going, so I have my dots, my 30 degree dot cross in the middle. Notice both of those dots line up. And now I'm gonna extend my 30 degree tick marks to the edge of my circle. This, the cross ones have already been done. So now if you look at my <clears throat> circle, it's divided up into segments of 30 degrees all the way around the edges. Now I realized a long time ago that my pencil liked to slip on me. So to keep my pencil from slipping, what I do is I go around the edge of my circle and on each one of those little dots, I actually puncture my paper just slightly. Not enough that anybody would notice at the end but it is very, very helpful to put a little dot or a little hole where each one of those little 30 degree marks are. Okay, so now I have dots all the way around. Now I can actually start the project. So all I need now is a straight edge. You can use your triangle or your ruler, doesn't matter. <clears throat> And I'm gonna go from one dot to the other. And you will find that if you put your pencil in those little dots that you just made, you can rotate your ruler around your pencil and you'll have perfectly straight lines all the way around. So your very first one should look like this. Now I'm gonna to go to my second dot and do the exact same thing all the way around.
Okay, now it's starting to get complicated. And you'll notice that as you go around your circle, it's going to get easier and easier each time. I don't need to do that one, I don't need to do this one, I don't need to do that one. They've already been covered. <clears throat> and I continually work around the circle. So every dot has to be covered and connected to every other dot. Out on your 30 degree marks. Notice I've already hit this line, this line, and this line, so now I'm done. So you can see as you go around the circle, it's going to get easier and easier. Now with your pencil, when you're doing this with your pencil, do not make very hard lines because you will be erasing some of these lines after you've made your patterns. So once again, you're making very light lines, hitting every dot, connecting every dot with every other dot. Notice on this one, I only had to go halfway around the circle. And it's going to get quicker and quicker as we go. I have three more to go, it looks like. One. By the time I get to this one, I only have to go one. So, now that I'm done, you can see we have our initial circle. So, at this point, you need to start looking for patterns. And initially, that might be difficult, <clears throat> um, but you will find patterns and then just start circling them in. Now, this student messed up and they forgot to erase their pencil lines after they shade it. It's a much better project if you erase your pencil lines afterwards. And you can see, you can turn this baby into some really awesome um, ideas. But be creative, take your time, and do a good job coloring.